Today I'm going to do the work on the crossbow, my unit of precision. Uh, did I use last thing? I can't remember, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, uh, we're going to check the timing of the cams. I'll show you how to do that. And uh, we'll check the position there. We're, we're fully locked into position. See, we've got the uh, bow turned all the way in. And the way we do that is we look up here at the position of the cams and they need to be exactly the same. We come over on this end and see a little bit of brass showing. Come over back over this one. Get back down, get about the same angle, try to get parallel. Let's do it this way. Okay, get even right there. See right there, just right at the crest of that hump. Let's come back over here. Do it the same way. See how we got a little bit of lump there? I get it even. See a little bit of line. Try this again. Get it right there. I'd say that's about as good as we'll get for timing. Uh, there's a very simple way we do that. But that's not what we're really kind of doing. Uh, I don't know if we see right in there. You see this cable? Let me try to put the camera around this way. Okay, do you see that? Okay, that's what we're going to do. So we got to we got to press the bow and take it uh, out of tension, take the cables off, and redress the ends. And that part I probably won't show you because there's really nothing much interesting going on there. Uh, strings are a different project. I'm just going to take the bow down, fix the ends do that off camera and then I'll put the strings back on the cables back on and first thing we got to do before we press it is we're going to back the head screws out right here we're going to back them out a good ways about 10 for rpm and that will take enough pressure off of this string right here that it won't be any trouble to press the bow and that keeps the equipment just fine um, Doing that, in fact, with this particular crossbow, this brand, you can actually turn them all the way out and take the tension 100% off. You don't really need a press to take the cables off, but it makes it convenient to hold the bow when you take the uh, cables on and off. We got her set, got the links closed, and it's okay, she's loose. Now we got to maybe take a little bit more to get this rotated enough to get the string off. I don't know, let's see if we can get, it, get the string loose. Which will rotate it up, get that off, or we can get back to the cable. Let's, take, let's just go ahead and take that string completely off, get it out of the way. I'll put it back on in a minute, I guess. Take it down. You see how that the serving is cut? I'll have to fix that. Now there is one of the cables repaired. Now the bow is back together and we have the limbs tightened down. And I have a 
test for you. Let's see if the bow made itself back to being timed. Take a look at that cam position. Got a mental image. Okay, let me see if I can get it here. Okay, see that one? Come back. What do you think? To me, I'd say no. It's close, and it's the first shot through, so it's not too bad. But, we're going back and look at this one. See how this one is rotated a little bit more clockwise than this one is. This one will be rotated counterclockwise. And then when you draw the string, they rotate just bass backwards. So, I believe that I need to loosen this one up. And because this cable is pulling a little bit more, pulling this cam, pulling it a little bit more this way, making it rotate a little bit more, I got to come down to this end and loosen her back up and take this guy, take this loose off the yoke and take the cable and untwist it about three times and then put it back on the yoke and tighten it back down. And then we'll recheck it and see if that's close. Okay, now, like I said, it's this one. So I'm going to take this, this guy off and make it a little bit longer. Take it, go one, two, three. Now put it back. And being an odd number, we're going to find out. Make sure it's on there. Gently let this back. Come on. There we go. And now, what I do, turn the bow back down to where it was, and we'll see the position of the cams. And hopefully we did it on the second shot. Okay, let's see if the twisting time the cable. Let me see if I can get close to being parallel with the edge of the bow. So we got just almost flat there. What do you think? It's the closest probably as I'm going to get it for a first time guess. Lucky as it is. And see. <clears throat> what will happen is. If the cams are off. When they're pulled. They're going to pull around at a different rate. Which is going to affect what part of the string is pulled and the center of the string will be pulled more one way or the other so you're not going to get a straight your center of your string will not track back straight it'll actually deviate to one side or the other because the cam one cam will be rotating a little bit more than the other and that's why you want to go through the through the hassle of trying to go through all this mess cleaned up and everything is put together let's check out 
the final version of this and oops, you see how tight those cams are right there and that's where they want to break the serving it wants to break that little serving right there and on the other side it's just done the same way you know nothing really spectacular but spin around the other way if I can do this there we go and uh, we got the center serving back in place actually it's only anchored well on this one side and because I've taken my little sheet down it doesn't want to focus well but we get the idea right there you can see the little nub come out of it but um, you know we've been able to take care of this herself and not have to send it to a bow shop so anyway that's how you time a crossbow <laughs>